Hey, hey, this is Brian here. And this is DJ over here, and this is Throwback Thursdays. Well, we'll be talking about things that are a blast from the past. And stuff that makes you go, damn, now that's old school. Today's topic is... Pac-Man! What? <laughs> Alright, so Pac-Man. Pac-Man. DJ, what can you tell me about Pac-Man? What, what do you think of when you think of Pac-Man? That son of a bitch likes to eat a lot. <laughs> I but mean, no, I mean, that's the whole premise of the game. Like, you literally have these dots and a maze and four asshole ghosts trying to chase you the whole time, uh -huh. trying to get all that food, trying to eat yeah. cherries, trying to eat super pills, which yeah. then made you like a super Pac-Man, which made you able to kick the ghosts' ass by eating them, mm -hmm. and that's how you get to the next level. Again, some of bitch likes to eat. And, uh, you know, eating and food has a lot to do with where it was inspired from. Like, Paku Paku Taberu is Japanese for a way of just, like, eating, like, like that. Or like, even, like, 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 like... Wait, wait, like what? Like, bark, bark, bark. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, Please, go on. even the, the game designer at the time working at Namco, uh, Toru Iwatanu, oh. Iwatani, um, he was eating pizza and he took a few slices out. And it looked like a freaking Pac-Man. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I and get he was it. like, hey, this could be a game. Well, did it, wasn't it supposedly <laughs> created for the women demographic too? Like they were trying to yeah, get more interest to get, female players. Yeah, they wanted to get more girls into arcades. They're like, hey, we can have you know cherries and like flowers and have something that's not just spaceships blowing stuff up. The and they thought that would attract more female arcade doors. It's fucking sexist as shit. But hey, I'll go with it. Hey, it, it worked because it was <laughs> the most successful arcade game of like all time. Two point nah. five billion dollars and quarters was spent in the US. No, absolutely. I mean, when you think about iconic characters, Pac-Man is indisputably recognizable. I mean, he's gotta be up there with like Mario and the greats. Oh yeah, like, I would argue that it's more recognizable than even Mario. Think so? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't go against that bet. I mean, very easy to play, very accessible, tons of merchandising, tons of spin-offs, Miss Pac-Man, the Pac-Man show. The, you People know, love Miss Pac-Man Pac fever. Uh -huh. You gotta have that Pac-Man fever. Y'all yeah. know about the 1982 hit Pac-Man fever? It yep. was a hit. It was a pop song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It actually hit the charts and everything. Like the the, the, the urge was real. Pac-Man was real, ladies and gentlemen. Fever. It's driving me crazy. It was definitely a cultural phenomenon at that time. It just changed the landscape of arcade gaming, and heck, they even had an animated cartoon series about it. The Pac-Man Show. Pac-Man Show? So uh, Pac-Man the animated series, I think. Is what, Either way, it was like they just called it Pac-Man. It was like by Hanna Barbera. They had a whole family involved. It was like his wife. I think the wife's name was like Pepper Pac-Man. Yeah, it wasn't even Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> I mean, they were too good for Miss Pac-Man. They were like Pac-Baby. They like little Pac-Baby. They had a little freaking. <laughs> Pack puppy. What was the it? size of a pellet? What was the, it was a dog. It wasn't even. It was like Chomp Chomp. I think. Chomp Chomp. Yeah, yeah Chomp Chomp, which looked like Pac Man, like a little chubby mm -hmm. dog. Mm -hmm. It was a great cartoon. So either way, Pac Man, undeniably just relevant. All right, guys, this is the part of the video where we determine if our topic is a throwback, meaning it should stay back in the past. Stay back there. Just forget about it, <laughs> or a throw forward, meaning it's here to stay. It is timeless. It is a classic. That's what I'm talking about. So Pac Man. Brian, throw back or throw forward? It is hands down a throw forward. Throw I mean, forward. I, I had to bring up the example again, but Pac-Man Championship DX, that, that was a pinnacle of creating this basic gameplay and modernizing it to an infinitely fun nice. way right now. This is amazing. So That's throw forward. Answer. Throw forward. What about you? Cool. What do you think? I mean, you know, I mean, I gotta, I gotta throw it forward, man. Come <laughs> on. When you're talking about iconic video game mascots, Pac-Man, is one of the tops. So we love you, dude. Stay hungry. Keep popping them pills. Keep kicking ghost ass. And keep <laughs> us, keep us gaming. You know what I mean. And we stay in the you. movies. And stay in the movies. <laughs> Pixels. That dude is a star. Yeah, he was. He was a star. He was, he was on the posters. He was everywhere. Is a star. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Comment. Let us know what you'd like us to see. What you'd like, <laughs> like us to see. What you would like to see from us. <laughs> so clean. That awkwardness is so much good. It's so much good. <laughs> it's so much good indeed. <laughs> So this is Brian. This is DJ. And this is Throwback Thursdays Throwback with Thursdays. Pop Culture Renegades. Yeah. <laughs> Don't
Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And leave a comment below. Let us know what you'd like to see. We'll be back with more retro stuff. And remember, until next time, damn it! So, until next time, remember, always, kick it old school.